Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and I do Monster High. I have a really great review in store for you guys today. We are going to be talking about Mattel's newest collector release, which was the Child's Play 2 pack of Chucky and Tiffany. This pack was released on Monday, May 1st of 2023 in honor of Child's Play's 35th anniversary, which is this year. Uh, it was released on May 1st in order to honor the main character of Child's Play, which is Chucky whose birthday is obviously May 1st. Let's get into a little bit of the release. It was quite a messy one. Um, Mattel only gave about 20 to 30 minutes notice for those who are on their email newsletter list that this two pack would be releasing and that would be priced at $90. Of course, there was a couple social media release posts on their Facebook and Instagram talking about that this collector set was going to be released, but a lot of fans were extremely upset at the fact that Mattel did not post anything a few days prior to this pack being released. I was lucky enough to be able to purchase this on my own. This is not a PR release. Obviously, my fiance, who is amazing, was able to go on and get the dolls once he got the email. This pack was priced at $90, which is normal for Mattel's two packs, although I know a couple of the dolls that they've released recently have been quite up in price. I'm talking about you, Rochelle, who was priced at $90. So let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, everybody, we are back with both dolls out of the box. A few things to point out before we start. These dolls were in box pretty well. However, I will say that when I initially opened the box, the plastic guard in the front of the box was quite loose and almost fell off. So that is just something to take note of as your dolls arrive that they are not boxed as tightly as um, collectors that I've gotten in the past. Another thing about these dolls is that they are in the little sister body type, meaning that they are smaller than a regular Monster High doll, referring to G1 usually is. This is going to be a body type that is more similar to Twyla or Howleen rather than the initial G1 dolls, so another thing to keep in mind. And these dolls also did come with their stands. Tiffany also came with a hairnet in the box, which I promptly cut out, but I did not notice that initially. Another thing about Tiffany is her scalp is black um, due to me having a new camera and <laughs> working out all the kinks. I don't really have a good way to show you that, but I just wanted to point it out before I started the review. So we are going to go ahead and start with Tiffany. I will point out some of my favorite details about her as well as just kind of go over her outfit and the accessories that she comes with. So we are going to start with the bottom all the way up to the top. As you can see, she has on a pair of black combat style boots. And if we zoom in, pardon me here, y'all. We are going to zoom in on her shoes. Get this focused here. As you can see, the heel is a red lipstick tube with black lipstick on it. She has some fishnet tights. And then moving up here to her dress, which is a white satin with white fishnet underneath and red blood spattered hearts. Her purse is a red clutch with a black lip print and it looks like those might be like intended to be eyelashes but they're kind of drippy on that clutch she has black fingernails which you can't see very well um and then a little black belt on the dress as well as a black jacket which is fishnet with the main bodice being leather and she's got her little heart tattoo Moving 
up to her face, we have the classic Tiffany face set with the black lipstick, very hollow high cheekbones, dark black smoky eye and harsh black arched brows, and some black hoop earrings to complete the look. Her hair is this gorgeous blonde. Both dolls have very, very soft hair, much softer than the G3 or any other dolls that I've gotten recently. This is the first collector release that I've ever unboxed, and now I kind of want to unbox my Dracula just to see if her hair is as soft as these dolls. I expect that it will be. Let's go ahead and move on to Chucky. Again, starting from the bottom, working our way up. We have the classic red Chucks. These are more of a wedged heel than regular Chucks. We have the overalls, which have our striped cuffs at the bottom and some kind of pattern on them. I'm not really sure what that's intended to be. Moving up with the overalls, they have their little red buttons. I love the attention to detail in these dolls. I think that's something that a lot of people complained about when they were released, but I really don't have any complaints about the detail that the designer has put into these dolls. I really think that they did a fantastic job. Um, as you can see on the pocket of that overall, probably can't see very well, but it does say good guy. And then we've got our striped sweater as well. Moving up, we have this classic Chucky red hair with a knife barrette right in front. Uh, Chucky's makeup is a very natural kind of orange with those brown colored lips. We have the scar going off of the lip and the eye as well, and slightly less harsh eyebrows than what Tiffany has. All right, let's zoom back out I kind of feel like I quite rushed through this but um, there's really not much else to go over with these dolls I do feel like uh, due to the attention to detail I I was happy paying $90 for them but I can understand what people mean in saying that $90 is quite a steep price for two dolls which if we're being honest are mass-produced $90 is quite steep however the attention to detail the design of these dolls I'm I'm happy to pay that price I can understand why other collectors are not though um, if Mattel keeps this up, keeps their pattern up. The next release will be a single doll pack and then we should be getting at least one more two pack before the end of this year. So I'm very eager to see what those dolls are. If you are a regular collector, you might know that a couple of the releases from this year were leaked very early on maybe in january and elvira and chucky were both on the list so we didn't really get any other leaks beyond those so the rest of the dolls for this year are going to be a surprise so i'm very eager to see those anyway i really hope that you guys enjoyed this review i have put in a lot of effort to increase the quality of my videos so i hope that's something that is working out for you guys i just want to thank everybody who is subscribed to me who sticked around because I know that I don't upload very regularly and I know that the quality of my videos is not always the best and I can't really promise that either of those things are going to completely improve however as G3 continues to be rolled out I am continuing to collect those dolls I really love the new designs so I am very excited to see what this next wave of dolls is gonna look like which means hopefully I can keep putting out content for you guys. I am not planning on keeping this channel entirely Monster High. However, the main basis of the channel will still be Monster High. So I'm hoping to upload a couple different kind of content style videos, maybe some wedding planning, crafting, I don't know. But I just want to thank everybody for 
sticking around and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, a wonderful rest of your month, a wonderful time until somehow the stars align and I decide to upload again. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you really soon. Bye!